Greetings, Father Joe here, friendly pastor from St. Patrick's Church in Highland Mills, New York. Uh, this is kind of a part two for the Thursday uh, reflections. Uh, we have the story of Jephthah and killing his daughter. Uh, I compare this to Abraham and Isaac, but here's something to remember. Abraham didn't offer his son. That was part of pagan worship to sacrifice your children. Jephthah, he doesn't say, Lord, what do you want me to do and what do you want me to offer? He says, oh Lord, if you do this, then I'll do that. The difference between religion and magic is in magic, we do things so that God will do what we want. In religion, we do things so that our hearts will be open, so that we will do what God wants. So that's the first point. Uh, Jephthah gets it wrong uh, on a number of levels, but lesson for us, all right? We do what God wants. We don't do things so that God will do what we want. Second thought, in the gospel, we have this tough case of the, uh, the king says, bring in all the people, you know, from the highways and the byways. In other words, bring in the poor, bring in anybody. Uh, and when he comes into the wedding feast, there's a person there who is not wearing a, a wedding garment. And it seems very unfair uh, if you don't know the context. Um, because, I mean, if you just drag somebody off the street, are you expecting them to have a tuxedo? Not fair. But here's the thing. Um, in, in the wedding feast that the king is throwing, he would have supplied garments for people. So it's not as if, hey, you know, you're a hobo. Why don't you have a tuxedo? It's, I, I brought you into this wedding feast and I gave you a tuxedo. Why aren't you wearing it? Um, I think the reason why I'm giving part two today is I was reflecting um, on uh, the question of whether, you know, there is a hell or whether anyone goes to hell. And I, I think sometimes people say, you know, oh gosh, you know, God's merciful. He's going to forgive us, which is always my difficulty. If God's mercy is infinite, won't he bring everybody to heaven? But the person in the Bible who speaks about hell most, I, I, in, in the whole Bible, not just in the New Testament, is Jesus. Jesus can speak about heaven because he laid down his life so that we could go to heaven. If you say, I'm going to ignore that, oh, I don't believe that God would send anyone to hell. I believe in a God of love. Does that make me closer to Jesus? Does that make me appreciate his gift of laying down his life? Or do I simply take it for granted? So rather than saying, gee, is God's mercy infinite? What if I look at it this way and say, am, am I treating Jesus's life giving, his sacrifice, his dying on the cross? Am I treating that lightly? Or am I truly appreciating Jesus's love and do I respond by loving him in return it's a little bit like it's a little bit like the uh, the guy at the wedding feast all right the king welcomes him in but you have to wear your wedding gown Jesus dies to set us free but we have to respond we have to change our lives and and live according to his will God bless you.